Are you finished? Well, thank you. How thoughtful. Would you like a chocolate? Um, yeah, sure. What was that? You said be nice to Penny. I believe offering chocolate to someone falls within the definition of nice. It does, but in my experience, you don't. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Uh, uh, that's you, obnoxious and insufferable. Oh, sorry, Sheldon, I almost sat in your spot. Did you? I didn't notice. Have a chocolate. Thank you. What's this cartoon called again? Oshikuru Demon Samurai. And it's not a cartoon, it's anime. Anime. You know, I knew a girl in high school named Anime. Anna Mae Fletcher. <laughs> she was born with one nostril. Then she had this bad nose job and basically wound up with three. <laughs> You're here a lot now. Oh, am I talking too much? Oh, I'm sorry. Zip. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chocolate? Yes, please. Yeah, I... You know what? Hold on. Let me take this in the hall. <laughs> You'll never guess who they got to replace you before. Okay. I know what you're doing. Really? Yes. You're using chocolates as positive reinforcement for what you consider correct behavior. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Chocolate. Sheldon, you can't train my girlfriend like a lab rat. Actually, it turns out I can. Well, uh, you shouldn't. There's just no pleasing you, is there, Leonard? You weren't happy with my previous approach to dealing with her, so I decided to employ operant conditioning techniques, building on the works of Thorndike and B.F. Skinner. Yet by this time next week, I believe I can have her jumping out of a pool, balancing a beach ball on her nose. No. This has to stop now. I'm not suggesting we really make her jump out of a pool. I thought the bazinga was implied. I'm just tweaking her personality. It's sanding off the rough edges, if you will. No, you're not sanding Penny. Are you saying that I am forbidden from applying a harmless, scientifically valid protocol that will make our lives better? Yes. You're forbidden. Bad, Leonard. 